Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through challenges or issues faced with distributed system. Okay, so the first thing is nothing but heterogeneity guys. Okay, so when a distributed systems, we cannot say that they are homogeneous. So basically assume that you are having a huge network of distributed systems for a particular company. So can you say that the whole company runs their systems only with a particular operating system being a Windows? We cannot say. Like some might be using Mac, some might be doing something, some might be using some other programming languages. Like that there could be some various homogeneous, sorry, heterogeneous systems, right? Yes. So that is the reason why you cannot say that the systems are homogeneous only. So we cannot decide that thing. Okay. So hardware, software, network, OS, programming languages can be different. So few distributed systems may not support the heterogeneity. Okay. So because the programming language is a dependent and platform is a dependent, Again, this could also lead an issue. So basically, if you write a code in your Windows system and if you try to run it on Mac system, it might not run based on that language which you are using. If you are using Python, it might run. When if you are using C or C++, it may not run. So in that way, okay. So hence, this is a challenge for distributed system. So basically, maintaining this heterogeneity or homogeneity will be an issue, okay. Similarly, lack of a failure handling. So basically, to handle this failure, you need to know where the issue has been occurred. When it comes to small distributed systems you can identify when it comes to large or huge net systems it is a difficult to find yes so when a particular node fails in a distributed system identification and recovery for it is also an issue for a distributed system yes that's what i have written here similarly scalability so scalability is nothing but increasing the number of nodes and all those things so the major drawback or challenge in scalability is that so assume that you created a network with only three users but your network can accommodate up to 500 users Right? Yes. So assume that if you are using only three, you are misusing, you are less under using the system. Yes. Yes. And if you are using the maximum 500 out of 500, the system might get slowed down because of the heavy usage. Right? Yes. So that is the reason why the scalability plays a major role. So deciding where to stop, like assume that at zero, you sorry, at below five, it will be very low and about 200, it will be very high. In between somewhere you should settle so in that situation you can uh, get to the maximum outcome so that comes under scalability guys okay okay so here it is nothing but maximizing is also an issue similarly openness so a system should be open to upgrades so basically assume that you want to increase for your system you want to increase your ram or your storage or anything you want to change the from hard drive uh, hdd to sdd some from solid state drives you want to change so in that situations also you need to be open okay so even allowed many issues might come so even in some situations the processors or everything will be allowing like you can upgrade them but sometimes you can face some issues due to some processors and all those things okay yes similarly security security is one of the most required thing in any kind of system guys even it might be your cell phone or anything security is one of the most important concern so in security you will be concentrating mostly on confidentiality that is nothing but protection against unauthorized user so I cannot come into your company and I cannot access every device in your company. So that is nothing but confidentiality. Similarly, integrity. Integrity is nothing but protection against corruptions. So basically, sometimes when you are sending data or when you are receiving data, there could be a chance of noise and which could lead to corruption of files. So that also should be avoided. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be starting the next unit. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.